Hey there, I'm Mike, and today I'm going to walk you through using web page test and how to interpret the results. Every website should load as fast as possible. However, achieving great site performance requires you to be on top of things all the time. That means monitoring the site's performance, making changes to improve it, and ensuring that every page offers the best user experience that's possible. In this video, we'll take a closer look at web page tests and how you can benefit from it. We'll also show you how to run tests and interpret the results, discuss the pros and cons of using the tool, and talk about prices. But before we get too far, I want to let you know that there'll be links to more resources in the video's description below. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. Now, what is web page test? Web page test is a powerful open source tool designed to help website owners and developers monitor and optimize their website's performance. It provides a comprehensive analysis that includes load times, rendering speed, and network usage. You'll also get a detailed breakdown of individual page elements, enabling you to identify bottlenecks and areas for improvement. It offers mobile testing and an API that enables you to integrate testing with your own projects. You can use web page test for free. The service offers a free tier that enables you to run hundreds of tests per month and get detailed results. There are a lot of website performance services available. Many of them are free, and the data you get will largely depend on what service you use. However, web page test offers a lot more benefits than regular tools. Let's look at some of them. Identify performance issues. Web page test helps you spot potential bottlenecks and areas of improvement, enabling you to make targeted optimizations to your website. Improve the user experience. Faster loading websites provide a better user experience, which can lead to higher visitor engagement and conversions. Visitors might not notice if your site loads fast, but they'll notice if it's slow. Boost search engine rankings. Site speed is a ranking factor for search engines like Google, and faster websites tend to rank higher in search results. Monitor performance over time. Regular testing with web page tests enables you to track performance trends and identify any regressions before they become major issues. You can monitor performance data from over a year using the free plan, which is more than enough to spot trends. Additionally, web page tests presents the results in a clear way. This is incredibly valuable if you're new to the world of performance testing and optimization. On top of these brief summaries, you'll get some hard numbers related to your site's performance. We believe that everyone should use page performance testing and monitoring tools. This is particularly important if you make big changes to your site, such as design and functionality updates or migrating to a new host. Running regular tests along with other optimization strategies, such as using a CDN, will help keep your site in top shape. Running a test using web page test is simple. To start, you'll need to sign up for a free account, which doesn't require you to enter payment information. Once you're logged in, return to the homepage and look for the Start a Site Performance Test option. Enter the URL of the page you want to test and select a configuration. For the most comprehensive results, we recommend running both mobile and desktop tests. Also, you'll want to use the test location that's closest to your site server so the results aren't skewed by distance. If none of the default locations work for your test, select the Advanced Configuration option. This will enable you to choose from other test locations and enter advanced parameters. When you're happy with the configurations, click on Start Test. The results will take a few seconds to generate, and once they do, you'll get access to a detailed performance report. One of the biggest issues with tools such as web page test is that they throw a lot of information at you after you run a test. This isn't a problem if you know what metrics to focus on. However, it can be intimidating if you're using the service for the first time. When it comes to interpreting results, we suggest you focus on three key areas of web page test reports. The first is the performance summary section, which provides an overview of your site's results. It'll show you where your site stands in terms of performance, usability, and resiliency. You can click on the icons below each category to view more information. Every category will include details about the elements that were tested and the results. If there's an issue with the site, the report will mention what element caused it and provide recommendations on how to fix it. Once you return to the main report page, scroll down to the page performance metrics section. Here, you'll find several metrics that show you how long your site takes to load and become functional. If you're not sure what each of these metrics means, here's a quick breakdown. Time to first byte. 
This metric measures how long it takes for the site to respond to the browser's initial request. Slow servers can take a while to respond, which increases the site's overall loading time. Start render. This tells you how long it takes for the page to start displaying visual elements. The site might be loading in the background, but until users see something, they may not know if the page is working correctly. First Contentful Paint. This is the first time it takes for the browser to render the first piece of content on the page. A lower FCP indicates a faster loading site. Speed Index. A composite score that represents how quickly the page content is visible to users. The lower the score, the better. Largest Contentful Paint. This metric tells you how long it takes to render the largest element on a page. It's generally a good indicator of the page's overall loading time. Cumulative layout shift. This score tells you how much the layout of a page shifts or changes as it loads. The more it shifts, the poorer the user experience. Zero is the number you should aim for here. Total blocking time. With this metric, you can see how long it takes before the page becomes usable. It might be done rendering visually, but the page may be loading scripts in the background, which prevents visitors from using it. The real world usage metrics section shows an overview of the same metrics compared with recent test data from other users, if it's available. To get the full picture of your site's performance, we suggest that you compare these metrics with the previous page performance metrics section. Ideally, the results of the latter should be similar or better. Finally, we recommend that you review the waterfall chart, which shows the loading process for each element on the page. This can help you identify specific resources that are causing delays or could be optimized for better performance. Once you've identified areas for improvement, you can make targeted changes to your website, such as optimizing images, minifying CSS and JavaScript files, or implementing caching. If you have a website, you'll want to run regular performance tests to make sure it offers a good user experience. You can use whichever performance tool you prefer, but let's look at the reasons why we recommend web page tests. Comprehensive analysis. Web page tests provides detailed information on your website's performance, making it easier to identify areas for improvement. Customizable tests. The tool supports a variety of browsers, locations, and test settings, allowing you to simulate different user experiences. You can customize test settings as much as you want or use the default options the service provides if you want a quick overview. Free and open source. We're big fans of open source software, so that's a plus of using web page tests right there. Although the service offers a premium tier, the free plan is more than enough for most websites. Historical performance data. With web page tests, you get access to 13 months of test data for any websites you use the service for. That is more than enough information to monitor performance trends for most websites. Performance improvement recommendations. Web page tests provides recommendations or opportunities to improve site performance depending on what issues it detects on your site. These recommendations include explanations of why each change is important. Now, here are some cons. Sign up required. Even though Web Page Test offers a comprehensive free plan, you must sign up for the service to run tests. However, the service doesn't ask you for payment information during the sign up process. Learning curve. Web Page Test provides a wealth of data, which can be overwhelming for users who are new to web performance optimization. However, compared with other similar tools, the learning curve is much more forgiving with Web Page Test. Limited automation. While it's possible to automate web page tests through its API, it might require additional setup and coding knowledge compared to some other tools with built-in automation features. No instructions for performance improvements. This is somewhat common among website performance testing tools. With web page tests, you get direct recommendations for opportunities to improve your site's performance. However, these recommendations don't come with instructions for how to implement them. This means you'll need to do research on topics such as how to defer render blocking JavaScript or other advanced technical topics. Web page tests offers both free and premium plans. The free plan enables you to run a generous 300 tests per month. Moreover, the platform stores 13 months of test data for both free and premium users. In terms of perks, premium plan users get to run more tests. You'll also get priority in case the service is at capacity. If you want to get API access to web page tests, you'll need to pay for a premium plan. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200%, and you'll get 24 seven support from our expert WordPress engineers. We offer two months free with any annual plan, a 30 day money back guarantee, and unlimited free basic migrations from any host. Head over to kinsta.com plans to get started.
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.